Hi guys, welcome to another video from Paul here at CCTV Systems UK. Today we're going to preview the Hikvision Turbo HD dome camera. Uh, we've all seen these before on the shelves. We know it's a HD, it states clearly that it's a 1080p. I know it's difficult to see in this light, but it does actually say 2.8mm, which is, as a fixed lens, about 104 degrees. And more significantly, it does say, I don't know if you can spot it, it's got a capital E on the end of the model number, which is very, very significant. That E stands for electricity. So, let's just take this out of the box for you. And we'll tell you the differences. So, just like any dome camera that you see from Height Vision, or most of the smaller ones, the fixed lens ones, it's got the IR on the bottom of the bezel, the night vision, and it has a little retaining screw that you can always slacken off and move the camera wherever you want it to be and then tighten it back up for security reasons so that it's solid and it can't be moved, which is brilliant. It has the standard connectors on it that any camera usually has that runs down coax cable. It's got the male BNC and the female DC plug. So... We can still run this camera, even though it's a POC, it's got the E on the end, electricity, down standard cable, which is, of course, this. RG59 plus 2. That's your RG cable there that carries the video. And creatively enough, it's called plus 2 because it's got two cables in, a positive and a negative, to carry your 12 volts. As usual... In and twist for your BNC and the simple push inside for that. So there you go, up and running. So this camera, even though it's POC, will work down your standard RG59 cable. But we don't want that. As it is POC, if you've got a POC DVR, the new height vision ones, the power comes directly out of the back of the DVR and comes down a single piece of RG59. So the video and power both go down the same cable. Power on the way up, video on the way down. As soon as you connect it, assuming this is connected to your DVR, there's no extra um, settings to change in the camera. It senses the voltage down here, as opposed to the old uh, DC female. So we'll just keep that out of the way for the minute. Don't do anything silly like cut it off, will you guys? Um, <laughs> So that then runs your camera for you, which is brilliant. So there's three distinct advantages to having just this RG59 single cable. So one, the cost of the cable. RG59 plus two is twice the price of RG59 single. It's as simple as that, you know. So when you're talking a 50% discount on the cable, that makes sense straight away. Secondly, we've all seen these particular things before. Little power supplies. Just move it out of the way. Tend to come with either two or four DC males on them. They run up the old RG592 uh, plus two cable, which is the expensive one, and powers the cameras through that. So not only have you got a 50% discount on the RG59 single cable, because the other stuff's twice the price. You can also take the cost of this out. So that's between 15 and 25 pounds. Another huge advantage, and this is really a big one, never mind the cost. RG59 plus two cable should very, very rarely be used over 50 meters. It just doesn't tend to work. Height vision state, that down RG59 single here, a POC DVR will power a POC dome camera at 200 metres. Now, we know this to be a fact because when they first came onto the market, we connected two 100 metre pieces of this RG59 single to make it as difficult as possible. So, not only was it two separate pieces that were all coiled up at 100 metres, we then had to put uh, BNC back-to-back -back connectors in, in line, to make it even more difficult for the voltage to get through. 
And to make it even more difficult, we added an extra 30 meters of cable on there, which needed yet another back-to-back -back connection uh, to see if there was any redundancy. And much to our surprise, it still worked, which is impressive. So that's 230 meters, 30 meters more than it's, it's meant to do or specified by the manufacturer down three different pieces of cable with connections in between. So it's safe to say that 200 meters is definitely what you're going to get. So there we go, guys. That's the POC dome camera. It is worth mentioning that there is also a bigger brother to this version, which is the uh, camera that states it's got 40 meters uh, infrared light on it. We much prefer this version uh, for two reasons. One, that's very solid. Whereas the 40 meter version is a very cheap plastic on the outside of the case. And secondly, the 40 meter version doesn't have the retaining screw. So clearly once this is tightened down, it, it makes it virtually impossible to move that. Whereas the 40 meter model can be moved with ease. Uh, I struggle to recommend that, I really do. Uh, cost difference, of course, if it's primarily about money, uh, this model is £10 less than the 40 meter version, and the infrared at 30 meters is more than enough. So, there you go. That's the POC Height Vision Turbo HD camera. If you need any more information on this particular model, please uh, put us a comment down, send us an email. If you need to know any more, we'll get you hooked up with any information you might need. So this is Paul signing off at CCTV Systems UK. Uh, see you later, gang.